Hi, from Non Sol Anima TV. We are here to the 11th Eurotas Conference in Milan with Mr. Brent Cartwright. May you say two words about yourself and your work? I'm a professor of psychology at the California Institute of Integral Studies, and I'm a psychologist in private practice in San Francisco. What is transpersonal for you? For me, transpersonal psychology is an integrating framework in which The three major forces of psychology, of Western psychology, the cognitive behavioral, the psychoanalytic, and the humanistic existential are all integrated within a larger context of the spiritual traditions of the world. So it's really saying that each of the different major forces in psychology have important pieces of the puzzle, but each are incomplete. Each are describing part of the elephant, but that we really need all of them to describe the psychology, but that each also leaves out the most essential element of our human psyche, which is the spiritual foundation of consciousness, the spiritual ground of consciousness. And the spiritual traditions say that this is what is most essential about our human consciousness. And it's this that is missing in each of these other psychologies. So it's an integrating framework for me of the psychological and the spiritual traditions of the world. It's not a specific way of working therapeutically. It's more the silent frame that the therapist holds behind the therapy. Um, it can also be a specific technique, but it's beyond the techniques. It's more of this, the way that the The therapy is held by the therapist. Integral of psychology and opening the heart. But uh, in which ways we can open the heart be, uh, without hurts ourselves? To me, opening the heart means opening both the psychological heart in front, the heart of emotion, and the deeper inner spiritual heart. Not just the heart chakra, the fourth chakra, but also the deeper soul behind that, that chakra, the evolving soul within. So in integral psychology, we need to open both this inner heart and this more surface outer heart that's composed of our emotional, our wounds, our defenses against those wounds, and a certain amount of hurt and pain seems absolutely inevitable as we make this inner journey to the deeper identity in the heart. So, in every case, for you is a good idea to open the heart? I think it's always a good idea, although it's important to do it in a way where we feel safe, where we feel supported, where we're not going to be overwhelmed in the process. Mm -hmm.